Have you ever heard of a haiku? Hi there, I'm Nettie Anderson and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. In high school, I got into poetry, reading the greats, memorizing, and writing a fair share of my own. And haikus were something I never quite mastered. But I think they have the potential to spark some very beautiful and unique words. If you're interested in haikus, you got to stick around for today's Devo, God's Delight by G. Cam Congleton. My 12th grade English teacher taught me to love haiku a form of poetry that originated in Japan. These short, three-line poems are traditionally drawn from nature, and they're only 17 syllables long. He described haiku as transforming a visual image into a word snapshot. For example, after reading Psalm 42, I wrote this haiku poem. Beneath the fearsome waves I wait. Breathless and still, then your light breaks through. In scripture, I think there are snapshot glimpses into God's nature. For example, the writers of Psalm 42 feel forgotten and earnestly voice their complaint to God, yet they console themselves with images of God's faithful love. I hear the tumult of the raging seas as your surging tides sweep over me. But each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me, and through each night I sing his songs. Those are verses 7 through 8. Other passages show us vibrant images of God's love, like Zephaniah 317, where God declares he will take delight in you with gladness and rejoice over you with joyful songs. And Isaiah describes God delighting in his people as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, anticipating the heavenly celebration of the wedding feast of the Lamb when all God's people will rejoice with him at Jesus' return, as we read in Revelation 19, 6-9. Now those are images to treasure. God rejoicing in all heaven celebrating with such joy that Revelation says the sound will be like the shout of a vast crowd or the crash of loud thunder. All because of our wonderful Lord Jesus who cherishes us, his bride. Just as haiku captures the sensation of a moment, these scriptures capture the beauty of God's delighting in those he loves. Are we worth all that? Jesus says yes. He gave his life because of such delight, such love for us. As Hebrews 12, 2 puts it, Because of the joy awaiting him, Jesus endured the cross. How amazing to know that we are part of the joy Jesus anticipated, even as he gave his life, longing to greet us at the great wedding feast to come. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Which of today's scripture passages was your favorite? Consider taking a moment to read this passage again and ponder the fact that God is passionate about us. He truly delights in us. Once we put our trust in Jesus, we can look forward with joy to the day we will be raised from the dead as Jesus was and see him face to face. If you want to know more, click the Know Jesus tab at Unlocked.org. As you and I can read in Zephaniah 3.17, He will take delight in you with gladness. Now I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Psalm 42, Zephaniah 3.17, Hebrews 12.2, and Revelation 19.6-9 to keep God's Word alive in your life. Unlocked is a service of Keys for Kids Ministries. Did you enjoy today's Devo? Has the Lord laid something unique on your heart? Like a haiku or something completely new? If so, we want to hear about it. Go to unlocked.org and check out our writer's guidelines to find out how you can write for us. Also, be sure to join Dylan for tomorrow's devotional about Samson. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.